The development of the Starship has improved exponentially. We may have exaggerated slightly that it may not be adequate for a fast-living business person like Elon Musk. The Starship is going places, and it needs to be constantly improved to go even further, which is exactly what Musk plans on doing with the new 18-meter-wide Starship 2.0. In today's video, we will show you everything about the Starship 2.0 that Musk is releasing soon. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to never miss out on more videos like this. You're probably aware that the Starship will be a reusable space orbital launch and re-entry vehicle with a staggering 120 meters of height, which is 9 meters taller than the Saturn V. The rocket's two stages are a super heavy booster as well as a Starship spacecraft. The Raptor vacuum, as well as Raptor engines, power different stages, which have SAE-304L stainless steel bodies. Prototypes are flown directly because SpaceX defines the Starships via operational testing rather than testing each component individually. As a result, it has a versatile design. In a completely reusable configuration, one Starship launch is expected to be capable of delivering over 100 tons, or 220,000 pounds of payload, to low Earth orbit. By replenishing the spaceship with more Starship tanker ships, Starship can deliver payloads to greater Earth orbits such as Mars, the Moon, and other destinations within the solar system. The rocket can be launched by any type of space cargo, including humans and satellites. The colonization of Mars is an objective that Musk has repeatedly stated as one of the Starship's primary goals. Musk claims that a million-person Martian metropolis could be self-sufficient. However, at least 10,000 crewed starships and 100,000 cargo-carrying starships, without accounting for population growth, would be required. Musk is expected to deliver 1 million tons of cargo to Mars. In addition, SpaceX has officially stated its intention to mass-produce starships. However, the company's Mars program has been repeatedly delayed, contradicting Musk's optimistic predictions. The Sabatier reaction could be used in a power-to-gas plant on Mars to produce liquid methane as well as liquid oxygen, which could be used to power return flights. At high pressures and temperatures above 375 degrees Celsius, carbon dioxide and hydrogen are introduced to a catalyst. Carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas can be extracted from Mars' atmosphere and ice using a catalyst such as ruthenium, nickel, or another transition metal. However, in terms of energy consumption, the process is inefficient, necessitating a complicated heat control system and eventually results in methane being filtered before use. Managing this kind of breakthrough will require further revisions of the Starship design based on data from practical tests, which SpaceX has been hard at work trying to solve. The SN8 concept vehicle was the first full Starship prototype following previous versions that progressively improved certain design aspects. Unfortunately, the vehicle was conducted in four static fire tests between October and November 2020, resulting in pad damage. In addition, the third test absorbed pieces of pad material into the engine's internals, having caused it to shut down preemptively. The fourth test went well, and SN8 took to the skies on December 9, 2020, reaching 12.5 kilometers before performing the belly flop maneuver. SN8 recovered to vertical shortly before landing and attempted to land but slammed into the landing pad at high velocity due to a fuel supply issue destroying itself. It hit the ground with a thud. The FAA had been investigating the SN8 and SN9 flights since the explosion's debris posed a threat to the surrounding area. In March 2021, the company unveiled a public development proposal that included two suborbital launch pads, two orbital launch pads, two prototype test stands, two landing pads, as well as a prominent propellant tank farm. The company also proposed transforming Boca Chica Village into a metropolis called Starbase, which would serve as a suitable site for all future development and testing. Unfortunately, the modules SN12, SN13, and SN14 were not fully assembled. The SN15, on the other hand, saw several changes to the vehicle's construction, engines, and software. Finally, the vehicle took to the air on May 5, 2021 performing the same maneuvers as previous prototypes before landing, having completed the first successful operation. The Super Heavy BN-3 first fired three of its motors in July 2021, despite the rocket never being intended to fly. Starship SN-20 was the first to have a body-tall heat shield, made mostly of black hexagonal heat tiles, while Super Heavy BN-4 was the first to be able to made with Starships. Perhaps Starship 2.0 will also have a slower variant? Who can say? To be sure, this is all speculation at the moment. It is, however, hard to deny that it is a fascinating possibility. Musk's mention of a next-generation space probe with a diameter twice that of the current Starship 
is consistent with his ambitious personality. Of course, we'll have to wait and see what happens, but Elon Musk has a history of surprising people. So this is all about the bigger and better Starship 2.0 by Elon Musk. What do you think about the future of Starships? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.